Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for watching this video. And what I want to do is take a moment to show you how to set up um, an automatic compiling process to turn your JSX code to plain JavaScript so that you don't have to do it manually. And um, what we use is a, a tool that's a JavaScript compiler called Babel, which uses the latest standards in ECMAScript uh, 6.0, which is the new JavaScript standard. Um, among other things, and it has built-in JSX support where it'll take your JSX code and automatically compile it to broken down JavaScript. Uh, it just makes things a lot simpler, but what you need to do is you have to actually put a watch either on a directory or an individual file. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it on an individual file instead of watching the entire directory. And I'm using Windows, but the process is going to be similar on a Mac or on any sort of Linux operating system. You need to be able to pull up your command prompt. And uh, we're going to be using npm. Now, if you don't have npm installed, um, that is uh, part of the, the node process, and it's pretty common. Uh, so you'll definitely want to get npm installed if you don't have it already. But just look for an npm Windows installer, or you can just install Node.js, um, which would have npm built into it. All right, so now that we have the command prompt open, what I want to do is actually cd into the directory where I'm going to have my file being watched. So my project is located under this folder and I have my JavaScript folder inside the static so I'm going to go into that and you're going to see that I have this wizard.jsx file which is actually open in my sublime editor right here so this is all JSX code so it can't actually be used by the browser it needs to be broken down into plain JavaScript and um, what we're going to do is set up Babel to watch this file which is located in this directory right here and output a wizard.js file every time this JSX file changes. So first things first, let's go ahead and install Babel globally. I already have it installed, uh, but in order to do that on your machine after you have npm installed, you're going to say npm install and then hyphen g for global, and then we're going to say Babel. And it's going to take a few minutes for Node to um, to install everything. So you should get a successful message here. It might take a little bit longer since I already had this installed. Uh, it'll probably take a little bit longer for you. All right, so after we've done that now, let's go ahead and um, we're going to do a watch. Let's go ahead and type Babel first just to make sure that it is installed. So you can see that Babel is a keyword that's being recognized by Windows. And if I went... And I said Babel and then hyphen hyphen help. You can see all the different commands that Babel allows. Now Babel is a, uh, I wouldn't say complicated, but there's a lot to it um, that we're not going to be talking about in this video. So we're just simply using it for a transpiler service. So let's go ahead and say Babel hyphen hyphen watch. And then we're going to give it the name of the file. So if you remember, it's wizard.jsx. And then we want the output file, so it's going to say out, and I think it's, um, so hyphen hyphen out, and then hyphen file, I believe that's right. And then we're going to give it the name of the file that needs to spit out, so we're going to say wizard.js, since we want it to be plain JavaScript. If I press enter, um, it's just going to hang there for a bit. Now, you'll notice in the directory, we don't have actually it automatically created a wizard JS file for us. So let's go ahead and uh, just delete that. And you can see it automatically created it again. So let's go ahead and so we're not going to delete it, but let's go ahead and open it. We can see that what it did is it took um I'm sorry, it took that JSX code and broke it down and minimized it for us automatically, which is pretty cool because it was it was a huge file and you can see it's much smaller now since it's all minimized and everything. So let's go ahead and make a change to that file real quick. And I'll just simply say, I'll put a to do in here and a comment. So if I click save, you're going to see that it's kind of annoying, but in your command prompt, it's constantly saying change wizard.jsx. So you just have to kind of minimize this and, and don't worry about that. But it is working behind the scenes the way it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and um, open up the directory and look for that command that we just 
added here. So let's go ahead and say, so we're going to look for to do. And then you can see to do, this is, oh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong screen. Um, so you can see to do, this is our example. So you can see that um, by us making a change to this, it automatically created this wizard.js file. So it's already broken down, uh, minimized JavaScript code. So makes it a lot easier to deal with. Um, and similar to how I did the watch statement, you can actually do um, an actual directory. So you can watch the entire directory if you want. And to do that, if I want to terminate this, I can say Control C and, and say yes. Um, so if you wanted to do the output directory, you would actually just say here. Um, I think it's output directory output file. Oh no, it's out directory. See, so you would just simply say out dir, and um, instead of obviously I'm giving it the location of a file, which isn't going to work. It needs to be a location of a folder instead of a file but uh, once again um, I'm not actually doing that for this particular example I just wanted to watch the one particular file that I'm working on alright guys um, so that's how you use Babel with react for JSX compilation alright guys thanks for watching please subscribe bye